monster in court. First degree murder. Crazy eyes. Dozing off. And behind the face of evil. He's a descendant of the Mayflower Pilgrims. What he wore the night of the massacre. He's fully geared up now. Police did finally safely enter the suspect's apartment over the weekend. They found at least 60 different booby traps that had been set to try to maim police officers. From the arsenal he amassed to the body armor he was wearing, Paul Boyd now has more on the incredible detail that went into the planning. When accused madman James Holmes went on his rampage at the Batman movie in Colorado, he was dressed like this, head to toe in black body armor, just like police SWAT teams responding to the massacre. The body armor lay on the ground next to his car after the shootings, including the gas mask he had on. Cops believe he was trying to blend in with SWAT teams to escape in the confusion. This is what someone that was ready to go to battle would be wearing. Here at Blue Line Tactical and Police Supply in Elmsford, New York, where they outfit law enforcement professionals, Inside Edition security expert Steve Cardian showed me the same kind of gear that Holmes was wearing. Now. He's wearing black tactical boots to repel bullets. He's also wearing black Kevlar tactical gloves, and we have a Kevlar helmet to repel incoming bullets as well as a gas mask to deal with uh, any tear gas or smoke. This is Inside Edition intern Charlie Leonard before, and here he is after putting on the SWAT gear. It turns out the gear that James Holmes wore the night of the massacre also gave him away. There are two distinct differences that the responding officers saw. One was the Kevlar neck protector, and the other was the Kevlar groin protector, neither of which the Aurora, Colorado Police Department wears. So the officers recognized that, and they knew he wasn't one of them. Yes.